we mentioned Affleck before. You've been in the town, Argo, right? Gone, baby, gone. And I did a little thing that was in Live by Night, but it was kind of part of a uh, of, of a silent bit. Yeah. When I've, did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? We we met through me auditioning for Gone Baby Gone. Is that I, right? I, I was doing Deadwood at the time, so I had hair down to here and a beard, and and I had, initially I read the script and it was an amazing script, but the character was really initially written for a guy about fifteen years older than I was, mm-hmm. and so uh, I was put on tape at Warner Brothers, and then months passed. And I got a call from my manager, Michael Garnett, and he said, uh, you're going to meet with Affleck next week. And I said, for what? And he said, gone, baby, gone. I said, I thought that boat sailed. That's been months. And he said, no, he's actually he's back in town. So I prepare and I, and I go in to meet him and we kind of jump right in. Ben has the sense to kind of, you know, having, you know, he's an actor himself. There's that anxiety, so it's almost better just to to go right in and and then do the the small talk or what have you after after the fact because you're, you know, you're kind of a ball of nervous energy. So I I do the scene and then we start to talk and Ben says, "What, what happened to your accent?" And I said, I don't, "What are you talking about?" He went, "You're from Boston." I said, "No, I'm not from Boston. You're not from Boston." I said, "No." And he sort of was vexed by that and. Uh, <laughs> He went, uh, yeah, I, th- I, think, uh, I think this is going to work out well. I expressed my concerns about the age because when I was in the waiting room, there were all these iconic character actors who I admired. No kidding. Who were 15 to 20 years older than I was, and I thought, I don't stand a chance in hell of getting this thing. Mm-hmm. But it ultimately worked out in my favor, and so uh, you know, I, I, I cut my hair off and kept a big giant mustache which had its own zip code, and uh, and it was um, you know hands down making movies with Ben Affleck has been you know in in that process has been some of the most pleasurable experiences I've ever had as an actor. He's a he's an incredible director, and I think because he's an actor, he knows w- when to offer help and when to not, and uh, and I also just like him as a human being. He's effusively warm and very supportive and just a, a kind guy and you know, inordinately gifted guy. We've been told by, uh, I guess Ham was here just last week, right, John Ham, that going around Boston with him is like, yeah. it's like the, the Red Sea parts, the Red Sox Sea parts when he walks around. Yeah, it's, it is. It's like, you know? it is. It's walking through London with one of the Beatles. I mean, <laughs> and the uh, and there's no escaping it. I mean, and he, the great thing about Ben is that he just sort of hides in plain sight. I mean, what's he going to do? Wear, you know, wear a baseball hat and, and sunglasses. I mean, he's you know he's a he's a big guy, and he's got tremendous presence. But it's just uh, it's also kind of wonderful because people are you know he's a he he is a native son, and people embrace him and they love him and they they love his films and you know but they yeah they're they're screaming at him for moving cars. Yeah, I bet right. And yeah. then uh, he can get Fenway Park for the big denouement of a movie too. Yeah, we spent we spent uh, almost two weeks shooting that that big shootout scene at Fenway. And I was crushed because at that point, the season had ended for the Sox. They didn't go any further. Right. But to be back there on Yawkey Way and shooting that scene, I have to say, and, and going inside. I was about and, to say, did you go inside the Green oh, Monster? Did oh, yeah, Did you go inside yeah. the monster yeah. itself? Yeah. And see all that stuff scrawled on the walls and whatever? Yeah. Did you put something up there yourself? No, 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 no. I, you know, that's, that to me is church. You know, I would never deface. <laughs> uh, you know, when you, when you go into Fenway, it's... Uh, you feel you feel the energy. I have to say, um, I love Dodger Stadium. I love ballparks in general. I sure. love to go to baseball games. But when I'm when I'm at uh, at Fenway, it's a whole it's a whole different thing. And I I, I went to see the Foo Fighters there a couple of years ago with my sons. Oh, that'd be amazing. It was incredible. It's just uh, it's it, it it has an energy and it has a history that's just kind of undeniable. And when you go there, I, I'm just at home. And and uh, they grow pretty good hot dogs there too. Uh-huh. And lobster rolls. Kill, lobster. kill a lobster roll. Yeah, we didn't hear that from young Pacino. It was just all about the clam chowder. No, no. <laughs> no. That was my neighbor from Brockton. I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever been to Wrigley? Have you ever had a chance oh, to go Oh, yeah. There? No, Wrigley's great. That's, you know, I mean... <clears throat> Fenway, I went in the 80s when it wasn't, you know, when you could... You, you can know, get tickets. You could you could walk in and they would say, just come in. That's <laughs> right. Sit wherever you want. <laughs> yeah. I know. But Fen- Fenway, I mean, that'd be pretty cool for you to go in Fenway and shoot a movie there. And so... Yeah. Go by I, that. That would be great. I've never been in the in the monster. You know. Oh, you gotta go. Through, you have to the, go. The I, I, you know, 
I mean, at Wrigley, it's it, it, it has that same kind of, of course. you know, looks like pulsating. Scenery. Looks yeah. like scenery, right? Yeah, it really does. And it's all there. And when you go, and, and also when you look out in those, in those ballparks, and you're surrounded by the the, the cityscape. It's uh, it just puts you there. You see that Sitco sign. You know where you are. Yeah, you do. It's. I always say that's kind of. I know I'm home in that way when I see the Sitco sign when I'm coming into Boston. It's just there, and, and you know, I hope it's always there because it's it's every bit as important as you know the Prudential Building in Boston in Bunker Hill. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.